On Sunday, Attorney General William Barr officially submitted his four-page summary of special counsel Robert Mueller's report regarding Russia interference into the 2016 elections. And although Barr dodged charging President Donald Trump with any crimes due to the fact the report did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities, congressional Democrats are now demanding that the full report be released. National security reporter Marcy Wheeler took to Twitter to explain how Barr maneuvered through the report and arrived at the conclusion to not charge Trump. Treated the underlying crime as the two RU interference operations, not other potential crimes, like quid pro quo there's tons of evidence for, she wrote. Having defined the underlying crime as just the hack and leak and trolling, and not quid pro quo, but also having Mueller submit alleged case for obstruction, they said, if not hack and leak, then not obstruction, she continued. Additionally, Wheeler took to her website to expand a bit further on the matter. They only considered whether Trump was covering up his involvement in the hack and leak operation. It doesn't consider whether Trump was covering up a quid pro quo, which is what there is abundant evidence of, she wrote. They didn't consider whether Trump obstructed the crime that he appears to have obstructed, she added. They considered whether he obstructed a different crime. And having considered whether Trump obstructed the crime he didn't commit, rather than considering whether he obstructed the crime he did commit, they decided not to charge him with a crime.